Hello my lovelies and welcome back to All About Jamie. Today, I would like to share with you guys some of my small leather goods collection. And so guys, do you think that I still carry a wallet in my bag? Actually, I don't really carry a wallet anymore if there's um, anything that I am using right now because I don't even keep much cash with me since everything is online and I could actually very easily pay with my phone these days. I prefer to use a tiny little purse like that which actually keeps all that I need throughout the day. If you haven't already seen it in my other vlog about what's in my bag. So this is what I carry on a daily basis. And if I don't need to carry that many things, I even have a tiny, tiny slim card holder like that. It's super cute and I really do love the colors on this mini card holder so this is how it looks like could easily fit up to just like three or four cards most of the time though i think i only need about two cards i mean plus my id this is easy and comfortable but i want to share with you guys some of the wallets that i have collected from the past as well. I mean, they are beautiful pieces and I'd love to share them with you even if they don't get to go out so much anymore. Okay, so I have got... Let's remove these uh, handbags first. I don't have that many wallet collection but I think what I have could match with some of my handbags so we'll be doing that today this is a passport holder which my friend painted like a portrait of me wearing a crown on it I've used this for many years and what I'm using right now is this Louis Vuitton one with Vivian painted on it. I got this as a birthday gift last year from my friend Symbian. When she saw this passport holder while she was shopping for a gift for me, she immediately knew that I would be so in love with it. It has got this pale pink interior which I just absolutely adore. It has got these little drawings of Vivian at a carnival. I was very touched by these gifts because we haven't traveled in a long time because of the pandemic. And this gift to me gives me hope that I would be traveling and seeing the world soon. I feel that it is a very meaningful gift and yes, it does give me like hopes for the future. <laughs> you know, I've been feeling kind of stifled being in Singapore for so long and really I'm looking forward to the day that we get to travel and this passport cover is going to take its maiden flight. Some of the other passport holders which I have used previously, I think this was a gift as well. It's a Balenciaga crocodile passport holder in a very pale beige shade, which is also one of my favorite shades and it literally just matches with everything. I feel that it's really durable and I do love it a lot. And this cute little one, I think I still got like, what is this? This is a visitor permit, oh my god, from 2014 July. I visited, what is this country? I think it's Japan. Yes, I think it's from Japan, 2014. This really brings back so many memories. And uh, this is another pink one in a darker shade of pink. It's from MCM. It's really cute because of the bear and you guys know how I love cute stuff. 
let's move on to some of my wallet collections and we'll pick a handbag to be a total match with it. And I've got this big travel wallet that has got many, many compartments and space for all the different currencies when I travel and a large space here where I can put like very big currency. Let me think which currency is so big that it doesn't fit a regular wallet. I think it's got to be like Korean won. It's like quite a big piece of paper. And there is a coin compartment, which obviously these days we don't carry our coins around. I remember those days where I even have like little coin pouches. I don't know where they are now, but most of the wallets do come with some sort of coin compartment. This is really handy for travel. I mean, if you are carrying a lot of currencies and cards, but if you lose it, then you lose everything. <laughs> Right, you can see that it is really new. I don't know if I have actually even used it. I bought it because I was completely obsessed with the color blue jean. And this is in the color blue jean with the contrasting white stitch. In those days, um, when I first started collecting MS bags, I had like everything in blue jean. I swear it was my absolute like uh, first crush. Okay, let's move on to another wallet that is fairly large as well. I bought this wallet. I'm sure you all would know why I even bought this wallet. Hmm, because it's in pink. It is a Kelly wallet with many, many compartments inside for your cards and a large compartment for your coins as well. What I do love about this one is that I sometimes could use it as like a mini handbag if I'm not carrying too many things out or even just for like dinner. What I do is to use this long necklace I actually just put it in between the wallet and then I lock it up and it becomes like this cute and chic little clutch. Isn't it lovely that I could just wear out in the evenings or like, you know, when I need to go to the supermarket and all I need is my credit cards and perhaps some cash. This is perfect. It's a really good idea and it just makes it all the more versatile, which is why I got it. And of course, I have got a matching handbag to go with it, which is this ostrich fuchsia Birkin 30. It is super gorgeous when you pull this wallet out of the bag in the same color. Previously, I wanted to collect the wallets to match each and every handbag. Well, thank goodness I didn't do that because these days, as you guys know that I don't even carry a wallet when I go out. So that would be a total complete waste. These wallets are really not cheap for wallets. I do have a few of them, however. Well, they bring back good memories of the time when I used to love wallets. Perfect match. This is absolutely one of my favorite ones. It is in Ombre Lizard. Lizard is so, so durable and they age really well. If you could see, that it still looks very brand new. And I have used this wallet to death. I even remember that I was frantically searching for an ombre lizard wallet, which was very, very hard to find. And I was very lucky. So one day I was in Hong Kong airport and I had some time before my flight. So I was shopping around, went into the store and this wallet was there. 
I had the matching ombre lizard mini Birkin and so they make a family. I was very happy to be able to find this. So whenever I use this bag, I always use this wallet. Guys, could you imagine that, you know, just changing a different bag every day is already quite a feat to behold. And to be changing your wallet every day to match with your handbag, oh my God, I must have had a lot of time on my hands previously to even do that. Well, these days I absolutely have no time to even catch a breath. Well. I've got four of these Bairn wallets. It is one of my preferred styles because it's very thin and it does not weigh a lot which is why I love them. This other lizard in Grease Fonce, it's another wallet that I have and got to match my Grease Fonce mini Birkin. I've got a Kelly, a mini Kelly in Grease Fonce as well, if you see in my previous vlog. So these are like the perfect match. As you can see how I love to match my wallet with my handbag. I even like to match like my makeup pouch with my bag. Which I don't know where my makeup pouches are already. I used to have quite a few. I think they are like everywhere in the wardrobe. Maybe we'll do a vlog on that the next time. These days, I just use the same vanity pouch to put in my bag, like the smallest, most handy one. I'm not bringing my entire vanity table when I go out. And so here, Reese one say, Happy family! Another pink wallet! Are you guys even surprised? So this is also in the colour fuchsia. It was like the most like to die for pink in my opinion and uh, I've got many handbags in fuchsia so obviously it's one of my favourite. Oh, I still have stuff inside this wallet. Let's see. Got my driver's license. So this is where it went. My god, I better be putting this into the wallet that I'm using right now. My driver's license. Been searching high and low for my driver's license and so that's where it went. So I've got this plastic credit card which obviously is expired. So 421. Oh, so yeah, I think I can cut this up and throw it away. An empty piece of paper. I wonder why. <laughs> what do I have here? I've got Terence's name card here. Was I going to give out his name cards? I have so many of them. Let's see what else I have. Okay, receipts. And probably more receipts. This receipt has been here for so long, it has faded to nothing. Eventually. Now, so that's the mother and that's the baby for the wallet. What colour is this? I need to call Miss X. I think it is anthracite. It is the burn wallet in an anthracite crocodile. And I've got two handbags to match this wallet. So it's a match with this bicolor. Kind of like a perfect match. This one is a little bit darker, so maybe the other handbag would match better. Yes, this one is a perfect color match with the handles and the straps. So guys, I've got a zoo in here. I used to collect these little leather animals that I like to tie around my handbag. So there's a whole zoo in here. Let's have a look at them. So I've got various animals. This is a chicken and my favorite lemon. A bear. Okay, there's so many of them that I'm not going to go through. I'm just going to just pick out a few. I don't even know what is this. This looks like a chipmunk, no? Chipmunk. 
What I like to do is to tie this around my handbag just to decorate it. And of course, it's something that I haven't done in a while because most of the time I'm totally in a rush and I really don't have the luxury of time to be dressing up my handbag. But that looks really pretty. Sometimes I do put even like two or three animals on one handbag. Let's just try it out. We'll do it on the fuchsia birkin. I think I'm going to put a cow and just lock it in. Oh gee. Okay, I've managed to get the cow in. <laughs> okay, let's see. I think I'm going to hang a panda with the cow. So I'll just like lock it onto the chain of the previous charm. Yes, that's what it's called, back charms. So you can actually just put two of them. If you want to put a third one, you could as well. And here, you've got three charms on your handbag to give it a completely new look. So, wow, okay, this is heavy. This is my humble little collection of Collier Du Chien. I've got double of these bracelets actually, but I was giving them away as gifts to my friends for their birthdays. These are some of the favorites which I've kept for myself because I just got out of this whole wearing leather bracelet kind of phase. I've kept most of the classic colors. This is one of my favorite. It has the Oran embroidery, which I have a handbag right here to match and uh, I've got an etude one it's a very easy color to match I've got orange crocodile which goes perfectly with my orange crocodile birkin now that not not that I wear these a lot lately they get a little bit too heavy for me so these are some of my little leather bracelet collection. So guys, we've come to the end of the video. I hope you have enjoyed this one. Do show me some love by leaving your comments. Tell me which other vlogs you'd like to see on my channel. Um, maybe next time we can do a vlog on my Kelly pochettes and Kelly cut, like an evening handbag collection and probably some styling tips for you. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you all next week. Oh no! You can see that I re- Oops! Ooh, ooh, ooh. Right. Thank God I didn't have so many wallets so I don't have to talk so much about them. Oh, getting really like exhausted talking non-stop.